Hey guys, my name's Logan. Have you ever wanted to make a Spelunky level generator or some type of Spelunky clone? Um, it's really not super uh, complicated. There's a lot of information on how to do it out there, but I'm gonna show you how to implement this into Game Maker. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to do the code and I'll show you kind of what you're gonna be making. Now, my graphics aren't good and I only have uh, a couple variations for types of rooms, so it does look pretty repetitive. And of course, you wouldn't see this entire overview. This is the entire level. Uh, in this case, I have the little diagram down here in my uh, output. This would be the starting area, and you would uh, follow the path along to this area, and this would be your end room. And as you could see, um, this is guaranteed to generate a level that always has a way through the environment. And I'll show you guys how to do this, and I'll show you guys how to create different variations for your rooms. It's really simple. Actually, after you get the system to add into it and add new objects into it, I added the, after I completed the ground layer, I added the ability to have uh, a ladder spawn as well, and that took about five minutes. And I could do that with any type of object you want to incorporate into your thing. So how you do this is you build level templates. Uh, I'll actually open one up for you. So this is a small template that I built. I'll show you how to export this into a string, uh, then load it into Game Maker uh, into something that looks similar to this, and then how this string uh, is added into a full game. So this is actually the room uh, at the beginning. I hit play, and uh, the generator generates a level out of this. So after I show you guys how to add these different variations into your rooms, um, then I'm going to show you how to go through the room uh, step by step and add in enemies and um, different obstacles that you may want to see. So give me feedback on what exactly you'd like to see. Uh, I'm not going to make a full Let's Make Spelunky game yet. Uh, I'm still working on an advanced platformer uh, tutorial series that is on my channel. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. It's great. Um, so maybe after I'm done with that, I could add a... Uh, maybe I'll do a Let's Make Spelunky series. So if you're going to follow along with this before you get started, I'm going to release the next video or the first video on the tutorial in a couple days, uh, either tomorrow or the next day. If you're going to follow along, go ahead and look up how uh, to use arrays. You need to know um, about two-dimensional arrays. So watch some tutorials on that. Uh, watch some tutorials on uh, lists. We're going to use lists just a little bit. It's basically an array with some advanced functionality. So go ahead and watch tutorials on that. And then uh, you need to be semi knowledgeable of GML. We're gonna be using purely GML in this and I'll try to explain everything as well as possible. So even if you're a beginner, hopefully you can learn something. We're gonna be using some functions like string character at, which is grabs a character at a specific position in the string. So go ahead and start getting familiar with that so you can follow along when these tutorials come out. So hopefully, yeah, I hope you'll enjoy the series and it's gonna be about four to five videos and also follow my platformer tutorial series. I also am gonna start doing uh, artificial intelligence videos. I specialize in AI, uh, that's part of my job. So I'm gonna be doing some advanced AI stuff. So if you wanna follow that stuff, please subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.